Marcus. It's Katie from Crazy Amazing Creations. How are ya? Come on in. It has been forever. At least it feels like that. I have been sick for the past week or so, a little over a week, and yesterday was the first day I felt well. And so today I was like, you know what? I have to get on and do a live. So let me see. Let me find Facebook. And you know who's coming in? Of course, the Crazy Maisie. I don't know how she always knows. Do you want to say hi, Mei Mei? Come say hello. Say good morning to everyone. Say good morning. Say hi. Ooh, belching. Some way to say good morning. All right, there we go. Let's pull it up here. Okay. What's going on? Hey, Maggie. How are you, girl? How are you? You gonna say hi to everyone? Say hi. Say good morning. All right, I'm gonna put you down. Ooh, big girl. Hey, Daisy, how are you? All right. Let me... Do this. Perfect. All right, so you know when I start a live, I gotta do all this homework, and I hate it. But it is what it is. All right. Hey, Kate, how are you? Hey, Tammy. How you doing, Tammy? You know what? I've been thinking of you, girl. It must be a deer or something outside. All right, there we go. Okay, now we got to spread the love. You guys, do me a favor. Spread the love for me. It has been a while since I've been live. And uh, I had a cold, and it kind of like hit me hard. Thanks guys for the hearts, I appreciate that. You guys are the sweetest. All right, why is my iPad not working? Okay, I hope Facebook is not gonna be wonky on me because I'm not in the mood for wonky donkey. I need things to go smoothly because every live that I've been on, there's either no volume, no sounds, I can't get comments, um, there's always something. So I hope this live goes smoothly because a lot of people have been having problems with their lives. And I'm not in the mood for problems. All right, here we go. Right. Okay, first of all, we gotta lower the volume. That, my voice is gonna drive me crazy. Okay, there we go. All right. I have one more place to share it to. And I always say that word. I should be saying spread the love. Oh, the Crafty Club. If you guys haven't joined our Crafty Club, you should do so. I know, uh, we do a lot of fun things in there. Um, we have a lot of... Why is this not working? We have a lot of discounts in there. We have a lot of exclusives in there. Every Friday you can find a new exclusive kit in there. All right. Done. Done. All right, guys. I did. I spread the love. Okay, why is my iPad still not working? There we go. Perfect. Now it's working. All right. So let's get to designing a, a wreath, shall we? Who's on here? Let's see some comments. Hey, Christina. Hey, Emily. How are you, girl? Hey, Kimber. Thank you. 
Hey, Kate Gregory. Hey, Trenton. How are you? Hey, Phyllis. Thank you, guys. I do. I feel better. It really knocked me on my butt. Um, I woke up last Monday or Sunday. Oh, no. Last Sunday I had group. So it was after my group that I just started feeling sluggish and I just didn't feel good. I was tired and something is, what is going on here? I can't have volume. Okay. Um, and uh, I went to bed at like 4.30 in the afternoon. Monday I woke up, ugh, I just did not feel well. And it just lasted. I don't know if it's because of my MS that I have a hard time. Um, I hear myself. Okay. Um, that I have a hard time bouncing back. My immune system is compromised. But I feel good. Yesterday and today, I feel good. So I'm back. I'm back in the clubhouse. A Doodles has been holding it down with shipments, getting orders out. He's been my rock. Um, hey, Lisa. Glad to see you feeling bad. Days off today. So I'm glad to be able to catch you. Oh, awesome. Yay. Scott, is my brother from another mother on here? Scott Waterman. Oh, hey, Mary Sneed. How are you, girl? You guys, we were just talking, Melissa and I, about Crafters Convention. Um, I have to book my hotel. Got my tickets. Um, Wreath Makers Live, we were just talking about because Damon was uh, announcing yesterday that Friday, possibly, tickets could be on sale. Um, general Wholesale, we're going to. Julie, uh, Jennifer Allwood. Oh, my God. We have a jam-packed um, 2020. I'm super excited. So, I have to make my... We have to book. And I told the girls last night, I told uh, Melissa and Dorian, I was like, I promise I'll book the hotel for Crafters Convention this morning. I haven't done it yet. Shh, don't tell them. I'll do it after this live, I promise. I will, I will, I will. Um, hey, Carol, how are you? Busy making items to sell. Yes, girl, get it. Get it, get it, get it. So, you guys, if you have not gotten your tickets for Crafters Convention, listen, don't wait. I think actually the four payments is today the last day or was yesterday the last day? I don't know, but there's payment plans. That's what I know. Um, and I know he had them broken down. But um, definitely get your tickets. It's it's a lot of fun. I've been every year. I have not missed yet. Same with Wreath Makers Live and same with General Wholesale. I try to go to as many conventions and networking opportunities as I can. And honestly, Crafters Convention, Wreath Makers Live, they're two of the biggest ones around and a lot of fun. Scott Waterman is is the head of it. I mean, he runs the whole thing. It is phenomenal. The presenters he puts together, and uh, it's great, and I love it. And Wreath Makers Live, uh, oh, my God, I can't even tell you. Just my head explodes when I think of it. So you guys, get your tickets. There's also the California. You know what, Emily? That's so funny you say that. The California's Crafters Convention. I didn't know anything about it until last night. I was on um, Melissa and Doreen and I. We were on a, a three-way. And um, I was going scrolling through Facebook, and I said, Cra California Crafters Convention, what is that? I never even, I, I don't know, it's because I've been sick, but I've only been sick a week. But I never even heard of it. I was like, you know, you go West Coast, get it. I wish I would have known about it. I looked it up because, of course, I would go. But I think it's the same weekend as Jennifer Allwoods, or is Clea and Rhonda's the same weekend as Jennifer Allwoods? I don't know, there's a conflict. I know... I would have went to the California one, but there's a conflict with one of the other retreats I'm going to. But I think it's awesome. Yeah, definitely check out the California one. I know, my 2020 calendar is also getting booked up. Hey, Elizabeth, what's going on, girl? Hey, Sonia. You guys, please do me a favor and spread the love for this live. I would appreciate it. We're going to make a fabulous, um, fabulous dog wreath. Okay. Um, there we go. This is a sign. I made this sign. Okay. This is in my shop at crazymazycreation.com. It also comes in the black. Okay. With the red heart. Okay. So they're both in my shop. We're going to be using the red one today with the black heart. They're perfect for Valentine's. They're perfect for every day. Um, you know, if you're a pet lover, which you know I am. I got two bubbies of my own. Maisie's walking around. Clancy's laying over there. So this is what we're doing today, um, and I'm super excited. Hey, honey, how are you? It's the week after Crafters Convention. Um, okay, so Crafters Convention is, um, okay, let me think, in March, right? Oh, I have spring training, that's what it is. Because in March is my mom's birthday, and we go to Yankee Spring Training every year in Clearwater. So that's what it was. I have spring training, I have Scott's, and then the first weekend is... 
in April is Jennifer Allwood, and then we have um, General Wholesale, I think, is after that. Something like that. But I know Crafters Convention, I know um, Spring Training and Scott's Crafters Convention are right around each other. Because when Scott came out with his dates, I was like, oh my God, wait, Spring Training. And I didn't know if I could do it because of my dad and everything. So I just got my ticket two weeks ago, a week ago, something like that. So I knew it was some kind of conflict. Hey, Carl, how are you? No, I think Friday, most likely Friday. Damon and Julie went on yesterday saying possibly Friday they will be on sale. Thanks, Melissa. You guys know my, my girl, Melissa, from Burlap Boutique. She, uh, Scott's is the 5th, 6th, and 7th. Okay. Yeah, so that's what it was, Scott. So you're the 5th, 6th, uh, and 7th, and then spring training, I go out the following week with my mom. I take her to Clearwater for a week. So that's, I think we leave the 11th, something like that, 12th, and we're there for her birthday on the 16th, St. Patrick's Day, the 17th, and then we, I think we come home on the 18th. I think that's seven days. So, and then I have Jennifer Allwood beginning of um, April. So I think that was the conflict for that California one. Yes. All right, so let's get designing, guys. So we're gonna use this sign, which is really cutie patooties, love. And uh, we're gonna do some natural poly jute with some red poly jute. It has the natural in there with that plastic red in there. Love it. Okay, we're gonna put it on a 14 inch wreath base. Let me finish with my sign though. Put a little glue here on the pipe cleaners while we're chit chatting and you guys are spreading the love for me. So this is an exciting time guys. If you're looking to get tickets, for any of these conventions, Scott's convention, Damon's convention, any of these conventions, California convention, listen, they make great gifts, okay? Tell your hubbies, tell your kids to all gather around. Let's all put our money in together, and let's get mom a great gift. Let's get auntie a great gift, because they do make great gifts. Give them the website to go check it out. Let them do, you know, their homework, and get it as a gift. I think it's awesome. If this is a business of yours, it's a great way to educate yourself. It's a reinvestment into your business. These um, conventions, I swear by them. I've made a lot of great, great business relations with a lot of phenomenal people going to them. I made some wonderful friendships, okay, that will last a lifetime past business. After I retire, I will have these friendships that I've made going to all these conventions forever. Plus, you learn a lot. Honestly, you really do. You learn a lot from them. So, listen, I think the conventions are worth the price of the ticket alone. Honestly. I know sometimes people are like, five, six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars, it's a lot of money. It is. But if it's a, if you're in a business, I, this is my business. This is what I do. 24-7, I breathe crazy, amazing creations. And I want to reinvest in it. I want to educate myself. That's why I'm going for business days and design days. There's always something new to learn, you know? And plus, it's reinvesting in my business. I want to grow, you know? So I swear by them. I really, really do. I swear by them. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Hey, Mary, what's going on? Hey, Debbie. Mary, doing well. I just showed Maisie a little while ago. She's right here walking around. Hey, Elisa. Awesome. Welcome to the clubhouse. If you guys are wondering what Alyssa's talking about, um, I have a private design group. It's called Katie's Clubhouse. And um, I love it. We're like a family. In fact, tonight we're doing our family Zoom call. It's called our clubby family Zoom call. It's at 7 p.m. We Zoom once a month. And... Um, and we just catch up. It's like networking. It's like us. We all get together. We chit chat about business, about design, about each other's, about our families. We get to know each other. It's it's so much fun. We go live every Sunday and every Tuesday in the clubhouse in my group. It's fourteen ninety nine a month, and it's just fabulous. And the link is in the. Let me. I'm just moving my doodle caddy back just a little. There we go. Uh, the link is in the comments if you're interested in it. Definitely go to PayPal, set up your payments, okay? And then go back to Facebook, request to join Katie's Clubhouse, and you're, I'll approve your membership when I get off this live, all right? Oh, I'm so excited. Welcome to the family. 
Awesome. It costs twenty sixty nine in Canada. I know the money is different. I know. I know. But I'm telling you, I'll make it worth your while. Girl, we do a lot of fun things in the clubhouse. All right. So we're going to do 30-inch ruffles as the base. And then we're going to do, I think, about 15-inch either cruffles or curls with uh, the red. Okay? And we all know that I truly don't measure. Okay? So um, I say about because if it's 29, if it's 30, honestly, it does not make a difference. Um, also, the other thing that I do a little different on this wreath frame, I have 12 twist ties, okay? So normally people put anywhere between 15 and 18, but I don't want a big poofy wreath. I want something a little more slim line, you know, not so much the Melly Mel method, not so much the pancake, a little more fuller than that, but not a big over the top wreath. So I do 12 in there and it's going to be nice. You're going to see how nice, nicely it comes out. So how is Piggy that I gifted to you? Did you? I did. I don't know if you can see it on camera. And I don't know if, honestly, Emily, if I can get to it. See this mess right here? It's honestly on the other side. My Piggy's on the other side over there. And Emily gave me a sweet pig. Where were we? Were we at Crafters Convention? Where did you give me that? Or Khalees? I honestly don't remember where you gave that to me. But was that at Khalees? I don't know, but it's gorgeous, and I love it. Anyone who doesn't know me, um, then you'll know that uh, I love pigs, I do. I know they're dirty, smelly animals, but I think they're so cute. They're adorable. In fact, you want to see one of my new um, Valentine signs? It's not done yet, but I love pigs so much. Look, hogs and kisses. Not hugs and kisses, hogs and kisses. Yes. Is this not cutie patooties? Oh my God, love it. This is in my shop as well. Hogs and kisses. Oh my God, I just love it. So I love pigs. So a lot of things that I do, you know, are wrapped around little piggies because I love them so. Crafters convention. Hey Jenna, how are you? Maggie, I know where you're from, girl. You're a clubby. You're in my uh, design group. Hey, Angie. How are you? I know it's been a while. I've been sick. I know, I know, I know. I've been sick. Yesterday, I went up to see my dad to see how he's doing. He's finally out of the hospital. He's back in the nursing home. So he's settling in. You know, um, it's just a big transition for the family this year. Getting ready Thursday. I'm taking my mom. As we do every year, we go to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, to the outlets to do some shopping. And especially this year, my dad used to always do it with her. Um, but this year, it's a little different because now he's in the nursing home. So it's hard on my mom. So we'll go visit him in the morning and then take a ride to, um, to Lancaster, do some shopping on Friday. So um, how many did I cut? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more. Um, so yeah. So we're going to have a little different holiday this year. As long as, I, you know, she's happy, her mind's off things, just for a few hours, you know. Uh, thanks, Elisa. Thanks. You like the loved one on my desk. Oh, the one we're using today? This one? Oh, we have it in black. The black one over there that's hiding from my mesh. I was letting the person ask. Oh, okay. Thanks, Maggie. I appreciate that, girl. My clubbies are always here to help me when I'm live. That's what I love, guys. So when we go live, any of my uh, design members that are in my group, if you do lives, um, if you hashtag clubbies, then I know that you're live and I can find your live easier for me to promote you. All right. I don't know how much I've cut. But we're just going to finish this roll. There's not much left in this roll. Prayers. Appreciate for my dad. He is currently back in... <gasps> Prayers for your dad, Emily. Absolutely. I pray that he comes through surgery safely and his recover recovery is fast and smooth. Absolutely. All right. 
So, let's get to designing. Take a sip of water. I tried, Jackie. I had a, you know, my dad's very, very good man. So, I definitely try to uh, do right by him. You've never done a live? Well, girl, in the clubhouse, I offer a takeover. So since, Alyssa, you're new to the clubhouse, if you ever want to do a live, whenever you want to get comfortable and you're scared to go, you know, in the big swim pool of Facebook on a public page, you're more than welcome to do a takeover in the clubhouse where it's a smaller um, audience. You know, we have about 110 people, group members, clubbies in my group. I think that's what we're up to, 110. Um, so it's a smaller audience and you know you'll be met with love and support. So if you ever decide you want to do it, all you have to do is let me know and we will definitely set that up for you. So I've had a lot of clubby members do it. Yes, please send prayers to Emily's dad. He's literally in surgery right now. So please bless that surgeon's hands to do well by Emily's dad. I hope it's nothing serious. But it's definitely scary, and I'm sure, as most of us all know, when a parent is sick or needs help, it's hard for a child to be on that other end. You know, usually we're used to them taking care of us, you know, not us taking care of them. So it is an adjustment. When I first started having to take care of my parents, um, it is an adjustment. So. Thank you for spreading the love. I appreciate that, guys. Hey, Angie, how are you, girl? All right, so all we're doing is a ruffle. If you guys are new to wreath making, a ruffle is just something we just bring. It's, I call it a butterfly. That's what I call it, you know, because when it comes out, it looks like a butterfly. But all you're doing is you're taking your thumbs and your index fingers and bringing that, that mesh towards you, okay? Just scrunching it up. Try and stay as straight as you can in the center of your mesh. Sometimes it wants to curl. No problem. So I call it a butterfly, so when you're done, that's what it looks like. It looks like a butterfly, okay? And I'm just putting one in every twist tie. Whoopsie. Hey, Tanya, how are you, girl? You have a group on Facebook called Bella Elisa Craft Shop. Oh, awesome, put your link in here, Alyssa. You can grab your link, put it in here, and I'll ask everyone to go to like her page, follow her, and spread a little love for her. Listen, I'm all about that. This is a great community, and everyone says, isn't it saturated with a lot of wreath makers? Absolutely not. Facebook is all over the world. All over the world. Listen, my neighbors, they don't know about you guys. Mm -mm, they don't even know there's a community. If I ever walked outside, start talking to my neighbors and be like, yeah, you can go on Facebook and there's a whole wreathing community, they'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? You know? So when I hear people say that it's saturated, the community, I laugh because I'm just like, that's so funny. Because like my family members know what I do. They know I'm on Facebook and everything. But whenever I talk about it, they, they just, they're like dumbfounded that the community is, you know, like as big as it is, you know? And I'm like, what do you mean? It's not that big. I mean, if you think about it, Facebook is throughout the entire world. Entire world. You know? Okay. So all I'm doing is a basic ruffle. And then I think I'm going to do a cruffle. I think. I don't know. We've got to feel it out. I'm the type of designer that I come up with a concept and... I really don't design my wreath until I'm in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Like my, my concept is doing the dog theme, you know, and using the materials I have, you know, but how I'm designing, usually I don't know that until I'm in the midst of designing what I'm actually going to do. If I'm going to do, you know, a poof, a ruffle, a cruffle, you know, curls, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. The pull through method, zillion things I could design a wreath. You know, and it doesn't start until I like, I feel it when I'm in the midst. When I start designing, then I feel it. 
Hey, Helen, thank you for spreading the love. I appreciate that, girl. Thank you, Charlotte. Prayers, yes. Um, I cut these 30 inches, Cindy, 30 inches. And I only have 12 twist ties, six on the inside ring, six on the outside ring, okay? You don't, I mean, my personal opinion, you don't need 18 inches, 18 um, pipe cleaners or chenille ties, whatever you want to call them, if you're fancy. I'm old school, I call them pipe cleaners. <laughs> um, but you'll see, this will be a nice full wreath even with 12 um, twist ties on here. So are you guys all set for the holidays? I know Thanksgiving is in two days. Are we all set? I have done no decorating in my home. I won't start decorating until after my last show, which is December 8th. Once that is done, then I can put all my Christmas stuff away, which I cannot wait. And I can start decorating my home. And I can break down. I can bring out Valentine's and St. Patrick's. Because as designers, we all know Christmas really is over for us. You know, when we're, if you're thinking about, you know, selling, what we have is what we have. I'm just, I had a craft show a couple weeks ago that I did really well at. So I have to replenish my stock. And um, that's what I'm doing now. Still making some Christmas designs for my next two shows. And um, other than that, I have a few custom orders, which I might do another live later for one of my custom orders that I have to get done. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Thank you for blessing my page, Dawn. I appreciate it. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Charlotte. Nancy, I cut it 30 inches. I cut it 30 inches, hon. Um, so, yeah, so Christmas is almost done and I'm gonna go shopping like I said on Thursday with my mom well actually uh, Friday morning at 5 a.m. Um, actually 3 a.m. I have to get online um, and um, we go to the QVC outlets in Pennsylvania and I get a lot of my fall decor honestly for the following year from there so like this year a lot of what I designed for fall I got last year at the QVC outlet for like pennies when I tell you so we do this every year it's a thing we do as a family but now it's just me and my mom because my dad is sick but um we enjoy it we enjoy it so the point of me telling you that is because we are going to oh decorating the home so once I put all Christmas all my supplies for Christmas take out Valentine's St. Patrick's I will start decorating, put my tree up, um, and start decorating. I know it's a little late. We don't have Thanksgiving in Wales. Oh, I've been to Wales. Hey, Helen, how are you? I went to Wales. My sister studied in London, and we went to Wales, Ireland. I've been to Ireland twice, um, but Wales is a beautiful country. Welcome. Thank you for watching from Wales. I don't think I've ever had someone from Wales. I've had people from Trinidad, from Australia, but I don't think anyone ever from Wales. Um, Alyssa, I don't know where PA Groves is. They are called pipe cleaners because they used to be six inches long and they used to clean the pipes. I know, but fancy people now call them chenille ties. When I was a kid and we played with them in arts and crafts, they were pipe cleaners. So that's what I call them, pipe cleaners. I'm not fancy. I mean, I can be, but I'm usually a lot of old school. Thank you for spreading the love, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hey, Connie, how are you, girl? Hey, Colleen with a K, what's happening? Your daughter is adorbs, FYI. Hey, Teresa. It is a gorgeous country. It sure is. A lot of greenery, like Ireland. I loved it. I had a great time when I was in Wales. All right, we got one more to put in, I think, right? Ooh, look, I counted right. Wonders never cease. 
Every time I look down, I feel like you can see my grays coming in. <laughs> uh, I need a, a dye job. Quick. So if I'm sniffling, I apologize. I'm just, you know, my cold is still lingering a little bit, but I do feel 110% better than I did. So I was on, in my group on Sunday, was it? And I kept apologizing for sniffling. Because I know sometimes it can be annoying when you're on a live and you hear, you know, the constant sniffling and stuff and the clearing of the throat. So I just want to apologize if I sniffle a little too much. All right. So we have it all in, and I'm just going to fluff. Fluff, fluff, spread out my ruffles. There we have it. Look at fabulous, right? So this is 12 twist ties. And it's like inspired from Melly Mel, okay? The Melly Mel method. But I just wanted it a little bit poofier than the Melly Mel method, but yet I want it streamlined. I don't want it as big and over the top. Okay, so I put 12 twist ties in. So we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of the red now. Thanks Angie, you too, honey. Don't know where she gets them. Hey Dawn, how are you? How long have you been on? Um, Half hour maybe, something like that. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. All right. So let me grab my weight. We're going to cut a straight line. And we're going to do here, let's do, um, what do we want to do? Let's do, you want to do curls? Let's take a vote. If you want to do curls, let me see hearts. If you want to do a cruffle, let me see thumbs up. You guys call it on this design. Hearts for a curl. Thumbs up for a cruffle. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Deborah. How are ya? How are ya? How are ya? Ooh, a lot of cruffles people want to see. All right, cruffles it is. All right, so we're gonna do cruffles. Some hearts, but I think mostly cruffles. All right, we're gonna do cruffle. All right, so let me move my sign over here. We're gonna cut these 20 inches, okay? Let's cut them, yeah, 20 inches, okay? So, now if you cut them 21, if you cut them 19, it's really not a big thing. I'm not a big measurer, like precise. I feel that anyone who's an artist, a craft designer, um, it's, you know, I mean, if you're way off. If I tell, you know, say something like, you know, cut it 10 inches and you're cutting it 30 inches, that's a problem. But if you're cutting it like, you know, if I say 10 inches and you're cutting it, you know, 11, 12 inches, not a big thing. The only time you have to be precise is when you're baking. When you're designing, just whatever you're feeling in that moment, do it. That's what I say. All right. Hey, Harless, how are you? Hey, Paula, what's going on? Thank you guys for spending the love. I really do appreciate it. I have never seen a cruffle, something new. No, it's Christina, it's not new, honey. But um, I'm more than happy to show you what it is. It's called a woodland ruffle, okay? Um, and usually you do it with 30-inch, um, oops, 30 inch 
cuts, but again, I make them what I want to make them for my design. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I did right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need two more. Come on, stay still. Eleven. One more. Hey Tracy, how are you girl? All right, so let's get these in, that in my doodle caddy. You guys, oh, just a reminder, if you wanna order the doodle caddy for Christmas, you wanna get it as a gift or you wanna give it as a gift, okay? For you to receive it by Christmas, the last date for you to order them, December 1st. After that, we don't guarantee delivery by Christmas, okay? Also, when you order them, not to delay your order, pick out your color that you want of the paint, pick out the color vinyl you want, and also in the notes section, let me know what you want this customized to say, okay? A lot of people are getting them for their kids, for their desk at schools, at college, for their husbands for Christmas. Um, Doodles is busy, busy, busy with Doodle Caddies. But a lot of people are forgetting the customization. They're picking out the color, they're picking out the color of the vinyl and the paint. But they're not writing down what customization they want, what they want written on it. So don't forget, put your customization on it. Whether you want a website, someone's first name, someone um, had Bless This Mess put on it. There's a lot of different things being, I th some of them are really cute and funny that I'll come across. But don't forget, in the notes section, put your customization. Also, Perfect Tales, guys. If you want to receive your Perfect Tales for Christmas, if you're giving them as a Kris Kringle gift, if you're giving them as a gift, Listen, these two products are handmade, okay? So they take time, okay? By the time you cut the wood, sand it, there's layers of paint and, and um, protection over it. It takes days and days, okay? We have to let things cure and settle and, you know, the wood and everything. It, there's a lot that goes into them, okay? So if you read the description, it takes up to 15 days before they're shipped, either product, okay? So if you want them guaranteed for Christmas, if you're giving them as a gift or you want them for yourself, December 1st, guys, okay? I cannot stress that enough. If you're looking for Perfect Tales or the Doodle Caddy, okay? That goes for both. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? I know I've been sick, Deborah. I know. It frays a lot from them. Where do you get your deco mesh? I don't like the ones from Michaels. Um, I either get them from my supplier um, or I get them from... Um, Deco Exchange, which now that at least you're in the clubhouse, you're part of my group, you get a discount. Go into the into the file section and you'll see a list of all the discounts that you get for being a part of the group. Okay? I have to approve your membership though. So when I get off this live, I will approve your membership. Oh, we're doing cruffles. I forgot. I know it's been forever. Miss you. Hope all is well. Taking a break from Damon. Cha-ching. Mind Ola. Girl, I get it. I totally get it. Okay. So we're going to put one cruffle in every twist tie. I do feel a lot better than I did. Definitely feel a lot better than I did. So what I like about the cruffle, it's between a, a curl and a ruffle. So I do like it. And I do mine on my boobs. Listen. I, I use what God gave me, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people do them on their, on their tabletop, and they might use um, a potato chip clip. I don't got time for all that. I use what God blessed me with, and I got to go. I got to keep moving on, you know? So, there you go. So, you get the little, you get the look of the curl, okay, with the ruffle. See the ruffle right there? So, I like it. It's something awesome. Hey, Jackie, how are you? Thanks, guys, for spreading the love. I really appreciate it. Okay. This is going to look really good with my sign. Love it. Tammy, how you doing, girl? How's my little guy? How's Jacob doing? 
getting ready for Santa. So I think in January I'm looking for a she shed and I think I'm going to have it installed in the beginning of spring 2020. Super excited about that because I am just, I need bigger space. I need to have a one storage area for all my designs and my supplies because not only I sell supplies. Um, if you guys haven't joined the crafty club, um, check out Facebook crafty club. It's a group that Melissa and I started. Um, and in there we do exclusive wreath kits. So we sell wreath kits. Um, we have discounts in the crafty club. So definitely go check it out. We just gave away a doodle caddy when we hit 5,000 in there. So a lucky member just won a doodle caddy. It's actually going to be getting shipped out. I think the end of the week it's going to be getting shipped out. So we have a lot of giveaways in there. It's a, honestly, it's a lot. Of, it's a fun, fun group. We have a good time. <laughs> I do look at I, I beg Doreen to come here and help me organize I mean I'm pretty much organized see what's in this this area right here is um, my mesh and stuff for my group mostly um, like if you I don't know if you can see back here I have cases going along my whole fireplace of mesh they're in my shop or they're part of kits that I'm selling in my shop at crazy amazing creation .com. Um also, um, we have besides reef kits, um, I sell, I do signs, um, I'm coming out now with Valentine's and, um, Valentine's and St. Patrick's is what we're, it's on the back burner at the moment, not the back burner, the front burner, front, am I missing a, oh, there we go, my eyes are deceiving me here, um, St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's is what I'm working on now. Um, we're actually using one of my new signs in this design. So I'm super excited. Um, what else? What else? And uh, spring is right around the corner for us designers. Can you believe that? I know. Christmas is not even here yet and I'm talking about the spring. Crazy. Jacob wanted me to tell you. He is walking everywhere now. I know he started walking. Now he's walking everywhere. Oh, my God. Tell him I'm so super proud of him and that I love him. Give him a big hug and kiss from me. I'm so excited for him. So proud of all the hard work he's doing. Such a good kid. I know, Linda. Mine, too. I was just telling Melissa. I was like, they're in my dining room. They're in my living room. They're everywhere. So, I mean, I've got to, I got to, um, work smarter, not harder. You know what I'm saying? So the clutter makes me crazy. I'm like an OCD person, but it's really taken over. And my room next door where I used to do my lives is all that, all the materials in there, all the cases of ribbon, the cases of mesh, that's for, um, for me personally to use, you know, when I come on here and stuff like that. So that's why I ask you guys to spread the love for me. And when you guys ask me questions like, where did I get my mesh or where did I get this? I tell you to go to Crazy Maisie Creations at the pin post at the top of the page are all my favorite things. And in there are my affiliate links. And that helps me get materials for me to do these lives with you guys publicly, you know. Um, so it's a great way if you guys are going to shop at some of my favorite places for you guys to, um, you get a little something, I get a little something, the small business that you're purchasing from gets a little something, and most of, uh, if not all, the small businesses that I have on my favorite list are small businesses in our community, unless you're ordering from someone from Amazon. Now, that would be a bigger, you know, a bigger uh, venue, but a lot of my affiliate links are for small businesses and people that I actually know that I've used and anything that I recommend that's on my favorite list I have used so if you see me you know if you see the link on my favorite thing about this mat I'm using it 
if it's about the perfect tails I'm using, my ring light, anything, the Mevo, anything that is on my list, these hands have touched. I don't recommend anything that I have not used, okay? Hey, Teeny, how are you, girl? Thank you, Ruby, for spreading the love. I do appreciate that. You guys, if we get to 100 this afternoon for lunchtime, maybe I'll give away a swag bag. What do you think? Think we can get to 100? All right, so there we go. 12 twist ties. Really, really cute, right? Love. And full. I told you it would be. All right, so let's get the sign. This sign is in my shop, okay? We're going to put it, I'm going to do it a little wonky. I'm going to put it right up here, I think, a little wonky. I'm going to put it right on through. Thank you, Tina. You too, girl. How, you're going to see um, Stoney and Michelle, aren't you, for Thanksgiving? I heard Kathy Kirkland came out with another Santa, but I haven't seen it yet. I know she sent it to me. I cannot wait to see that bugger. Oh my God, I can't wait. Maggie, as soon as I get it, I will show it to everyone in the group. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate that. Thank you. You guys, if we can get to 100, when we're not too far away, I'll give away a swag bag that I got. And it has some ribbon in there. has a lot of signs in there. has uh, a lot of... A lot of things going on in that swag bag. All right. So what I do is when I first put my sign in, I just put it in, I wrap it around one time, see if I like the placement. And I do like the placement. I flip it around and then I'll put it in. Thank you, Paula. I appreciate that, girl. I know, I'm so excited, can't wait. You better do a live, or at least do some kind of pictures. And Teeny, I'm so excited you're gonna be at the convention. You're a presenter, I'm so excited to see you presenting, girl, and I'm so proud of you. Hey, Marquita, how are you? I need my needle moves. That's what I love about my doodle caddy. Everything that I use all the time is like right there at my fingertips and it takes up like no space. Okay. Hey PJ, how are you? I know 2020 is going to be so much fun. I get to see all my friends. I love that. All the friends I've made in this community, all new faces that I'll make new friends. Super excited. Hey Gay, how are ya? Thank you Alyssa. I Appreciate that. English sometimes can be hard for me. All right, so we'll get the sign in. Nice and secure. All right. Okay. Have the sign in. So if you guys love this sign, I have it in the red like you see here. And I also have it in the black in my shop. So it comes both ways. So actually the black would have looked really cute on here as well. Right? Look how cute that would have been with the red background popping. So either sign would be gorgeous. Right? So these are available in my shop. And they're not just for Valentine's. I mean, every day, if you're a pet lover, if you want to give a Christmas gift to your vet, or if your daughter or your neighbor or your babysitter, what about your dog sitter? Someone that walks your dogs. You know, and they love pets. What a great gift to give. Look, I'll give you the up close. See, it has the dog paws on it, right? And look, dog paws. Fabulous, right? They make great gifts. So they're in my shop, crazymazycreation.com. All right, let's get some ribbon tails on here. So I already chose some ribbon. I'm going to use my perfect tails. If you guys don't know what perfect tails are, I don't know. You must live under a rock or something. But I'll show you what they are. All right, let me uh, we'll move this in my way. And this is the moment I get to sit. I get to get off my legs, and I get to sit and chit-chat with you guys while I cut perfect tails. Okay. 
I've been watching you at work and my shift is over, so I will have to watch the replay. Bye, Katie and Clubbies. Bye, Christina. Don't forget, we have family Zoom tonight, 7 p.m. I will post the Zoom number in uh, the clubhouse in a little while. All right, let's do 14-inch tails. I'm going to use my perfect tails, and we're going to do that, that, or maybe, maybe we'll do... Maybe not that. Maybe we'll do red. That. I like better. Okay. All right, let's move this over here. Thanks, Paula. Any advice going to buy a cricket? I don't know anything about a cricket, I use a silhouette machine. So I wish I could tell you, but honestly, I only have used a silhouette, and I love the silhouette. So I know some people love the Cricut, some people love the silhouette. I think it's all about preference, you know. I've never used the Cricut in my life, so I wish I could help you, girl, but I can't. All right, so let's cut this. We're going to cut 12 14-inch tails. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if you're asking, where can I purchase these perfect tails? And I should have said it earlier. And I should have put it in. So let me put it in the post. Go to www.burlapboutique.com. And that they go in. There you go. All right, burlapboutique.com. Perfect. Okay, that's where you can get the perfect tails, and I love them. I use them on every design. I'm getting I'm getting myself organized slowly. Love the caddy. On list to get for sometime next year along with stem cutter. Oh my God, love my stem cutter as well. And perfect tails. Uh, you know I love my perfect tails. A long way to go yet, but we will get there. Girl, Lisa, one step at a time. You know, you don't need everything all at once. Getting in the shower, but listening. Girl, you, I do the same thing. Yesterday, I listened to who was live yesterday, and I got in the shower. Oh, my God, I can't remember who I... I listen to lives all the time in the shower. I go to bed with Damon at night. Sometimes, shabby tree. <laughs> but I do the same thing. I thought that is what you had. No, I have the silhouette, girl. I have the silhouette machine. Yes. And don't forget, if you're part of my private group, you get a discount in my shop and in um, Burlap Boutique and a few other shops, okay? In Deco Exchange as well. There's a few shops you get discounts in, okay? And some of our members are not just wreath makers. Some of them, like we were talking about before, Kathy Kirkland came out with New Santa. Um, she is a doll embellishment maker, and we get discounts with her as well. Every time she comes out with something new, you get first look at it before it goes public. So, that's awesome. Yes, PJ, you can use them for measuring mesh as well. Yep. Absolutely. If you use Unique in the Creek or you do poofs, you can measure your poofs with them. Absolutely. And you can make the cra um, the uh, perfect tail bow. I was going to say the crafty the crafty. <laughs> it's called the Perfect Tail Bow, and I've shown that on that site many a times. So you can make bows with them. You can measure your mesh with them. You cut tails with them. There's, they're, they're more than a one-hit wonder. There's many things you can do with them, which is one of the reasons why I love them. And the second reason why I love them is because they're lightweight, so they're easy to throw into your bag and travel. Third reason why I love them is because my girl Melissa made them. 
Yeah. Hey, Amanda. How are you, girl? Watching from Myrtle Beach. First time. Robin, if this is your first time watching, do me a favor. Hit those three dots that are right over my head. Okay, and a drop down box will come and you'll see alert notifications. Click that. So every time I go live, you'll get notified that I'm live. So I don't use mini chat anymore because I don't know, Facebook and mini chat are just not friends. And I don't want the hassle of it all. Um, so that's how you can get notified if you want to see more of me. Okay, I lost count because I was chatting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, perfect counts. Katie, did I send you Jacob's school picture? No, I didn't see it, girl. No, I would love to see his school picture. You give that little boy a big hug and a kiss from me. Yes, tonight, 7 p.m. It's going to be fun. And um, so we go on there. We chit-chat. If you have any questions about design or anything, you know, you can ask. We talk about our families, you know, what's going on, if we've decorated, whatever what's going on. It's a great, we really have formed since we started um, the clubhouse and we started our Zoom calls. Um, we really have become a family. You know, so like if someone's having an anniversary or birthday or something, people, we send cards to each other. It's really a, it's a lovely, lovely uh, group that we have. And I love it. I'm in love with everyone in my group. I'm excited for you, Amanda. I will post the Zoom number um, sometime this afternoon, okay, before my next live. I'm going to go live again. I have a custom order to do a marine wreath. That I have to get done and um, I will do that on a live as well I might go on my YouTube channel to do that I don't know I haven't decided yet oh no worries Tammy I am so thirsty all right so I know a lot of people say let's chit chat and get to the project you know and I'm like you know what this is who I am I like to chit chat with my followers and you know I probably could have been done with this wreath if I wasn't chit chatting but you know what? It is what it is. I love, and I haven't been on in over a week, so I have to chit chat with you guys. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many of you belong to the Crafty Club on Facebook? Are um private group. It's free, guys. I don't know if I said that before. It is free, the Crafty Club. And you can go check out previous videos that we've done in there, and you can get exclusive um, discounts to some kits that we have on sale if there's any still available in our shop. Almost afternoon there. Katie, did you see my comment? Oh, about Jacob's picture? Yeah, I said I didn't get it. I didn't I didn't see it, honey. I would love to see it. I would love to see his school picture. Hey, Carol. Did you do a lot of custom orders, and what information do you try to get? I have a form. So if I'm at a show or if someone calls me, I have a form that I show um, my group that they've seen it. Um, I get everything from them. I get their address. I get their phone number. I get um, their email address. I get full detail. If they have an idea or a picture of what they want, I get deposit. Um, either by credit card if it's over the phone or um, if they want to send me a check. But the custom order does not begin until that cash, the check clears. The customer, if they send me a check for final payment, the custom order does not get sent out until that check is cleared. Then the shipment goes. Um, but if they do it all by credit card, no problem. Um, what else? What else? Um, I can't remember my form. But I bring it to all my um, my events. So if I have a show that I'm on, it, I have a folder that I keep them in. 
If it's an in-person, they initial it, that they okay the order. If it's an over-the-phone order, I send them a copy for them to send back to me to initial. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So when you're taking a description of your custom order, you want everything down to the nitty gritty because you don't want someone to say to me, to me that, oh, I thought the sunflower was going to be yellow, not orange, or I thought the hat was going to be, you know, like I don't want them to, I want it all in writing. I want it all approved. So if I get a custom order, which I do a lot over the internet, so they'll email me, say to say to me, Katie, I need this, this tree topper. I need it this big, you know, and they'll give me dimensions and everything. And I'll say, okay. They'll give me the colors, the theme. So I had a woman who wanted a Grinch theme, but I won't do Grinch, but they wanted the theme. So I find the ribbon. I email, I take a picture of the ribbon. I email them back and I have them approve that. So everything is in writing, okay? Whether it's on the internet, you know, email or, it's, you know, in person. And every step of the way, like this wreath, okay? So I found the sign. I sent them a picture, okay? The ribbon. I found the ribbons. I sent them a picture. They approve everything, all the materials. Now I'll make it, you know? So once the materials are approved, then I will start making the designs and once the money has been deposited, okay? Not until before that. So I run a business, not a hobby, so I have to run it like a business. Whether it's a family member or it's, you know, a customer that I don't know, I'm a business, you know? And when you start acting like a hobby and doing favors, I mean, yes, if you, I mean, giving a discount or something, that's different. But when you start acting like a hobby, people are going to treat you like a hobby. When you start acting like a business, people will treat you like a business. Remember that. Okay? Okay. But just be fair. You know, you don't have to be cutthroat and everything. I try to be as fair and generous as possible. You know, I always give a door hanger with all my wreaths as a thank you to my customers. Hey, Christy White, how are you, girl? Hey, Paula. Uh, when someone requests a special wreath, do you give them the price beforehand? Um, yeah, well, once we determine, usually this is how I work it. They'll say to me, um, you know, Katie, I, like I had a couple weeks ago, a Hanukkah wreath. It was a custom wreath. Katie, I need a Hanukkah wreath. I said, okay. We went over colors all step of the way. I said, what's your budget? And they say, my budget is whatever it was, $150. And I'll say, okay, so I'll say, is that your high end or your low end? You know, because sometimes materials, you know, prices change. So she'll say to me, that's my low end. So I know, basically, I want to keep it around $100, $125 because they're shipping also, you know what I mean? So when they give you a budget, I imagine there's shipping involved, you know? Um, so I try to put parameters on what my custom order are. So if they say $150 budget, I'm looking somewhere around $125 for what I want this wreath to be, you know? So the more you do them, the more you'll get used to it. So I always ask them their budget first. I don't come out with a price. You know what I mean? So once I give all the materials, I show them, I show them the wreath after it's made, you know, and everything's approved, then I tell them, you know, this cost, you know, $105 or this was whatever, you know, whatever it was. Love my perfect tails. But yes, I love taking custom orders. I really, really do. All right, we got our ribbons cut. And now let's get them in. Where's the wreath? Over here. Okay. Let's leave that. And this is the time of year, guys. If you have not promoted, I've been promoting taking custom orders, especially for tree toppers, since I think I did my first tree topper in September or August. I can't remember that I sent it out for Christmas. Because I get a lot of orders for tree toppers. Mm. Why am I not scrolling? Uh, it's fun with me. I'm part of the Crafty Club and love it. Oh, awesome. Hey, Ty. How are you? I'm working on getting all the legal paperwork together. It's been a challenge, but well worth it. Yes, I know. It can be a headache, Lisa. I will, Tammy. I will. Absolutely. All right. So, guys, if we can get up to 100... I will give away a swag bag. So let's try and get this loving afternoon up to 100, shall we? 
All right, let's get some tails in here. So I love this ribbon. Look at this ribbon. Isn't that cute? So cute. Oh, you're welcome, Lenore. No worries, girl. No worries. I love the Crafty Club. Love it. So sometimes I'll put ribbon tails on first. Sometimes I put them on last. Um, this time I decided to put them on after I put my sign on. 14 inches. I cut my, uh, Wanda, I cut them 14 inches, honey. Oopsie. How do you make your tree toppers? Do you have two to put together or one big one? Well, it depends what I'm doing. Depends what the customer wants. Uh, me personally, I make a nice big juicy one for my tree. Um, some customers like to have two so they can go back to back. Excuse me. It just depends on the customer, what they're looking for. Some people just want it one-sided because you don't see the back of the tree. They feel it's a waste of ribbon, you know. So, it just depends on the customer. Right, Marsha? Love it. You have to be very dedicated to do this if you want to do it as a business. I started as a hobby, but just need to take it to the next level. Yes, girl. Next level. That's what I'm talking about, Lisa. Hey, Paula. How are ya? How are ya? Yes, I do use the pro bow, and we might use it today. I don't know if we're going to use it today. I haven't decided what kind of bow I want to put on this bad boy yet. So, what plans do you guys have for uh, Thanksgiving? Are a lot of you cooking? Are you all done shopping? Because you know these grocery stores are going to be, like, chaotic if you have not gone yet. So, whenever I do my ribbon tails, I always make my bird. Tweet, tweet. Right? Because that's what it looks like. A bird. Tweet, tweet. Right? And everyone says, how do you get your your um, ribbons to stay so fluffed? Uh, that's how. You make a bird, you'll always have fluffed ribbon tails. Yes, Melissa, it's free, girl. It is free. I love the Probo. I use it for everything. I love the Probo as well, too. I have the 4-in-1. I have the Easy Bow Maker. Ooh, maybe we'll give away an Easy Bow Maker with the rose... Rose um, on my next live. Ooh, that might be fun. You guys have to spread the love. Maybe, and I'll give away um, a swag bag today. But we got to get to 100. That shouldn't be that hard at lunchtime, right? Is it lunchtime yet? Oh, yes. It's after 12 here in New York. It's lunchtime. I did my shopping at 7.30 a.m. today, and I'm cooking. Girl, Lenore, What? You are an early riser, girl. We'll be working my 9 to 5 job for things. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Lisa. We host Thanksgiving at our house every year for about 25 people. So I've been getting ready since about 5. Oh, my goodness, Amanda. I'm done with all my shopping, and I will start baking today. Ooh, Tammy, send some of that baked goods over here, girl. Yes. Katie, where is the convention? Is it a group or all wreath makers? It's all different kind of business people. It's not just wreath makers. They're all different. There's bloggers. There's influencers. Um, there's a few conventions going on. There's um, the Crafters Convention that's going on in Illinois. That's Scott Waterman. You can go to uh, watermansloft.com to check it out. Um, there's Wreath Makers Live. Tickets go on sale on Friday, I think. Um, there's a lot all over the place. There's Kalee and Rhonda Nickerson. There's, um, General Wholesale. There's the California Convention. There's so many going on. 
I'm going to start cooking some more. I have about 25 people. You pe you guys with all these large crowds coming to your house. What's up with that? I could not cook for 25 people. I can't even cook for me and my mom and my husband. <laughs> I can't. Seriously. I'm just not a cooker. I'm not. I'm not a chef. We don't have Thanksgiving. Well, I'm going shopping for Thanksgiving. I know a lot of people think that's bad. But listen, sometimes... People just don't have the picture perfect family, you know, like my dad is sick, you know, it's hard on the family, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to change up tradition. We used to always have family, um, Thanksgiving and Christmases, you know, and, you know, unfortunately my parents are getting older, things have changed and it's just, you know, it's different now. Thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that. Thank you guys for spreading the love. I really do appreciate that. Yes, it's for everyone. For everyone. Did I not answer that? I apologize. Yes, it's for anyone. You don't have to be a crafter or designer. You don't have to be, have a business. You can have a hobby. It does not matter. And I'm telling you, if you love crafting, if you love just designing and you have that, in, you know, that inspiring gene in you you would love these conventions i highly highly recommend them oh uh, i'm thankful for you honey my beautiful honey girl hey holly uh carol week makers live is in july yes in dallas uh exact dates have not been announced i'm sure damon will come on and let us know all the information that's what Damon's team decided. Yep. Well, I'm late, but I'm just got on Facebook. Hey from Bama. Hey Samantha from Bama. How are ya? Yes. So whenever we go to um, any events, and a lot of my clubbies show up, we do clubby pictures. Um, we wear our clubby T-shirts. It's a good, good time. We hang out as much as possible, and I've got to meet a lot of my followers. And I love it. I do. I love it. Love, love, love. This wreath is turning out gorgeous. Gorgeous, I must say. Loving this red and white check. Love that. I have to say. All the girls in the family get together and cook. We have about 40 people. Dawn, are you insane? <gasps> I do all the cooking and baking, Deborah. No. Has anyone heard that all the AC Moore... Yes, Michaels is buying them. Majority of them. So AC Moore is closing in the Northeast. Mine is closing here where I live. But supposedly Michaels is reopening it as a Michaels. So don't lose your hats, everyone. I don't really shop at AC more much anymore now that I shop at my suppliers. Um, hey, Ann Nichols. How are you, girl? Another one of my clubbies. All right. This is turning out gorgeous. Loving, loving, loving. I might put one under there. Did you say wreath convention in Dallas in July in Texas? Much does it cost? Um, they haven't come out with a price yet, Nancy. So I don't know how much it's gonna cost. Maybe I can make Wreath Makers Live this year since it's in my area. Yes, Holly, that'd be awesome. I got to meet Katie at General Wholesale and Vivian and Reef Makers Live in NOLA. I just fell in love with her. Oh my God, teeny girl. I fell in love with you. Okay? You make my heart like pitter-patter and that's no joke. Okay? And whenever I am, you're on a live, you make me laugh so much. I just, you just, you're just awesome, teeny. You really are awesome. Um, 
Teeny is going to be spending um, Thanksgiving with Michelle and Stoney from Wild Creek. My God, I love them too. Can you imagine spending Thanksgiving with Stoney and Michelle? Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, there you are. Couldn't find my pipe cleaner. There you go. Wants to hide from me. Oh my God, Samantha. Me too, girl. Me too. All right. So, let's stand up. Let's hold up what we have. Make sure everything's straight. Let's check it out. What do we have? Oh my God, so stinking cute. Right, look at it. Did I did I lie, people? Is this not a full fun wreath? Right? So stinking cute. And I cut, of course I cut too many ribbons, ribbon tails, but I'll save them. Because I waste nothing. Told you, 12 twist ties on this bad boy. 12, not 18. Not 15, 12, and it's nice. It's not like full, full, over the top. Like, I wish I could get one of these down, one of my over the top ones. But it's not a Melly Mel either. It's not a pancake wreath, but yet it's not big and bulky like a big, fat, juicy, over the top wreath. It's a nice size wreath, perfect for your door or your home decor. Either one. Love it. Came out really nice. Lynn, I don't know what goes on with Facebook. Sometimes you can see comments. Sometimes you can't. I don't get it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe go out and come back in. That might be great. You turned 50 in July. I turned 50 this past July. July what? Yes, it would be, Debbie. That would be a great birthday present. Thanks, Tammy. Thanks, Deborah. I appreciate it. Guys, thank you for spreading the love. I appreciate it. If you want to see more of me when I go live, hit that, um, the three dots over my head. Uh, drop down bar will come down. It'll say um, alert notifications. Click it and uh, you will get notified when I go live. I honestly don't think I'm putting a bow on this. I think I kind of love it like this, to be honest. I think a bow... If I was to put one on, it would be right here, and I don't want to cover up my my ribbons. Thanks, Beth. I appreciate that. I'm also a lover of burlap mixed with mesh. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Now, my girl, Melissa, from Burlap Boutique, she really, she's like the burlap queen, if you can't tell by the name of her business, Burlap Boutique. Um... She does these burlap wreaths like nobody's business. Honestly, she's like the guru of farmhouse and rustic. Definitely check out her shop if you're into it. And she inspires me. I'm more of a whimsical designer, but the more that I hang out with, with my girl Melissa, the more I get inspired to do more farmhouse and more rustic decor. And I'm actually like implementing it in my home. She sent me, she makes, I don't know if you guys know, she does these bathroom vanity sets and their farmhouse rustic design. And we redid my bathroom last, the master, the master room bathroom last summer. We gutted it down to the studs, redid it, and she sent me um, a set, oh well, actually two sets, one in turquoise and one in like an almond tan color. And um, listen... Uh, she's got me so into this farmhouse rustic look that I'm, I'm, I want to do my whole house in that decor. I'm loving it. Loving it. So, I, you might see me like, I still do whimsical. I still love whimsical. But, I'm into the farmhouse. I really am. Farmhouse Christmas. I'm into it, guys. Um, so, definitely check out BurlapBoutique.com. Not only can you get your perfect tails there, but you can get some pretty fabulous uh, other stuff other items for Christmas if you're looking for gifts for your sister-in-law, mother-in-law. These vanity sets make great gifts, guys. 
and they might be something that someone doesn't really typically think they like or would want. But when you see them in person, and I should do a video of a live up in my bathroom so you can see them. They look gorgeous. And my bathroom is like, kind of like, I kind of wanted to have my husband's, you know, I wanted to put him in there a little. So I have like my outlets, my light outlets and my um, toilet cover thing are deer antlers. Okay. And I am so not a hunter. So not a hunter. And I wanted to put some glam in with, you know, a little rustic for my husband. So I have that for him. I have a nice chandelier, beautiful mirror, nice vanity, big furniture piece vanity. Um, and I have mixed it with rustic and farmhouse. And I have her um, vanity set sitting right there on my vanity. And it looks gorgeous, the rusticness of the vanity set. And I love it. So definitely check BurlapBoutique.com out because there's a lot there than just roots. Katie's doodles watching. Oh, I don't know. Tammy, is she? See on here? I'm a lover of yes. I didn't see him on here. Doodles, are you on here? Hey Tisha, how are you? July 14th? I'm July 11th. Oh my god, we're both cancers. Love it. We'd be the best of friends. Where do you live? Do you live near me? Are you from New York? Are you on the East Coast, Debbie? Thanks, Samantha. This is in my Etsy shop one of my designs because life should be breathe in breathe out <laughs> life is too short to be all crazy and all right so I just cut these um, pipe cleaners and I just bent them down and over into the mesh all right guys so that is what we got how gorgeous is that right Love, love, love. Now, I'll put this in my shop at crazymazycreation.com if anyone's interested in it. It is for sale. If you're interested in just the sign, I have this sign in the red in my shop now available, and I have it in black, okay, with the gingham trim on the top of it, okay? So, they are both available, and uh, you saw Doodles come on here? You did? Oh, maybe he stopped in. Hey, Debbie, how are you? My kids have antlers, chandeliers, and the dining. Oh, my God, I love that. Love it. And I'm not a deer. Like, my husband is the hunter, and I have my feelings on that. But it's his thing, and he loves it, and he works too damn hard not to enjoy life. So he goes hunting. Um, but I do like the glamour mixed with the rustic. I'm all about that mix. So, like, I'm trying to get in. I'm in, not trying. I am inspired by Melissa and all of her designs. And I still love my whimsical, so I'm trying to mesh the two. If you saw a few of my kits, I did a deer kit, and it's still available, I think, in my shop. Check it out. It's the Glam Deer Kit. It has, do I have it near me? Where is that sign? Hold on. Let me see if I have a sign near me. I don't know if I do. All right, well, it's a deer. Watch, I'll find it after this live. Okay, I don't have the sign here, but check out in my shop at crazymazycreation.com. It's a deer, and I put pine on it with a bell, and it's a dancing deer because it looks like it's flying. And um, I, the ribbons that I chose to go with it are rustic and glam. There's some shimmer and glitz along with the rustic, and they go perfect. They mix, I love mixing farmhouse rustic with a little sparkle and glitz. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, Tom. How are you, Tom? Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Don't forget tonight, if you're a clubby, if you belong to my private group, we are on Zoom, Family Zoom tonight, 7 p.m. So if you haven't downloaded Zoom.com, go check it out in the clubhouse. Download it. It's free. And I am going to post the number in a little while for everyone. Okay? Debbie, you live in Texas. You're across the country. How are we supposed to hang out and be friends and celebrate our birthdays together? Crazy talk. Yes, you find the perfect tails at burlapboutique.com as well. Absolutely. And don't forget, yes, the dancing deer kit. Don't forget, guys, um, if you want to get perfect tails or the doodle caddy in time for Christmas, okay, you have to order them by December 1st to guarantee them that you have them under the tree, okay, for Christmas. Doodle caddy, perfect tails, December 1st, if you want it for Christmas. You can order them afterwards, but we don't guarantee you'll have them for Christmas by then. These are handmade products. They take time. If you look at the description for perfect tails and the doodle caddy, they can take up to 15 business days, business days, 
for them to be shipped out, okay? And we are working overtime to get our orders out in time for Christmas. So these are, they take a long time. They, they're, you know, there's a lot of stages to making a well-made product, okay? And that's what they are. So if you are interested in them, definitely order before December 1st. Also, if you're part of the Crafty Club, it's our free private group. There's a huge discount in there right now. And it's only until the end of November. So you only have a few days. If you're looking to purchase the Doodle Caddy or the Perfect Tales, go check it out. Get the coupon code and purchase, okay? Don't say I didn't warn you. All right, guys. I'm going to get going. I'm going to be live again in a little while. I'm going to be doing this um, custom order. I have a marine wreath to do for a custom order. So I'm going to be, look for me. I'll be uh, posting for this. I'll be live in a little while. I hope everyone has a lovely Thanksgiving. Be safe. Enjoy your family. Relax. Take time off of work and just enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? And whatever that is, if that's sitting on the couch watching Hallmark movies, watching a football game, or going shopping, just be happy. And I hope you all enjoy. Be well, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for kicking it with Katie. Have a great day. Bye, guys.